Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to sew a, uh, like a button or a bell, actually in this case, back onto a sock. So, what you're going to need, of course, here's the sock, holiday sock here. Of course, two of the buttons came off already. And try to find green thread to match that as close as possible so the thread doesn't show up. And this is all I've got, so unfortunately that's what I'm using. Little bells. Gonna need you sewing needle. Uh, nothing special, just you know, a regular needle that has a hole at the end. You could thread uh, some thread through. Uh, maybe some scissors to cut the thread. <clears throat> and I think we're ready to go. First thing you're gonna do is thread the needle. It's kind of tough. You see the hole. Get your thread, cut off a long piece. I've got a piece maybe about, I don't know, a foot long, which is more than enough. Sometimes it's hard to thread the thread through the needle hole. If you cut it off, you got a better chance of getting it through the hole. Sometimes you can just lick the end of it so that it's kind of wet. And you should be able to line it up. Get it through the hole. All right, after it's through the hole, kind of get both ends to lay about the same. You're just gonna tie a knot in this end. Grab two of them together. Okay, do a little loop. Push this end through the loop to make your knot. And you're good to go. Now your needle won't fall off the thread. I'll show you why that knot's important in a minute. So take your sock. Got some loose threads here. I'm probably going to just snip them off to clean that up a little bit. Okay. First thing I want to do, don't know if it's the right way, the best way, but it's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the needle from the outside of the sock, okay? Kind of near the top of this peak. I'm probably not doing a good job. Top of the peak. I'm gonna just stick it through somewhat close. See, kind of towards the top. Stick it through, not all the way through, and then take your needle, put it between those two pieces of string See how the knot's laying on top of my needle? And pull. What you're doing, you're securing the thread to the sock. Okay, next you're ready to attach the bell. I'm gonna take the bell. You see it's got this like hole back here for the thread to go through? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Put the needle through that part on the bell. I'm gonna kinda Lay the bell just close to the end of the sock for right now. It doesn't have to be perfect. And put your needle back through this front side of the sock again. Near that top, near where your first hole was, and pull. And you'll see the button where you want it now in the sock. So now you've got your, your the end of your thread, get it out of the way. Here's your needle thread. You're going to bring it back to the front of the sock. Find that groove in the back of the bell uh, that we first put the string through. You're going to put it through the back of that groove. Um, hmm, let's see here. Right, back through the groove and put it through the top of the sock. Now you've got two two loops going through the bell through the sock so it's held on twice as strong i'm going to go through and do it maybe two more times so i'm just looking for the back of the bell that little slice or that little groove in there stick my needle through stick it through the sock and that is time number three i'm gonna do it one more time to try to make sure these bells don't fall off <clears throat> I'm 
Just gonna come back through that little groove again on the bell. Gonna push it through the sock right about where this end meets. I wanna put it close to, or I'm sorry, where the other threads are all coming out. I try to put them all in about the same spot here, okay? You don't have a needle coming out here and way over here and then way back here because your, your stitching won't look good. Pulling it through for the fourth and final time. Making it a little tight. Now I've got my two ends of the thread here, right? My one end and my end with the needle. I don't need the needle anymore. I'm going to cut that off. All you're going to do with these two pieces of thread, can you see them? Let me put it against my shirt. Tie them together into a knot. Okay, and if these were a little longer, it'd be a much easier time. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard for you guys to see, but <laughs> maybe I should need some background music playing for you guys. There it is. See the knots going down, 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 down. Pull it tight. I'm gonna to try to double knot it, maybe even triple knot it to make sure these don't come undone. I'm gonna use my scissors to try to get them back through that little, little hole. So I can finish my knot. Okay, knot number two, going down. Try to do one more knot. If, if I had left this longer and, and this other end that I cut off the needle were longer, it would make tying those knots much easier. So don't be afraid to leave long, long ends on there. And I kind of goofed up by not leaving them long enough. Just makes my job a little harder, but not impossible. So I'm gonna put it through one more time. Use my thumbnails to get it through. There we go. And look at that. It's going down. And what I want to do, you don't want to leave this big long thread hanging off because it would just not look good. Pull them together. Take my scissors. And I don't want to cut it off way too tight down by the knot in case the knot might unravel. I'm going to leave a little bit of ends on them. And there you go back on the sock. So give it a try. I said I'm not perfect, but it's good enough. And I bet this bell holds on longer than these other two do. Thanks for watching.